I'm in Florida and you can tell by the size of my hair this morning that it's quite humid. It is hot, it is awesome to be outside. We are at Toy Story Land, 11 acres of fun. This is a brand new attraction at the Walt Disney World Studios in Florida. And to tell me a little bit more about how this land came to life, I'm joined by an Imagineer, probably the coolest job ever. Dave, come join me this morning. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm doing well, Dave, good, thank good. you. Tell me a little bit about how this world came to life. Oh my gosh, well, you know, we, we uh, wanted to bring a new immersive land to the studio park and we thought the, you know, the Pixar stories and films have been around for a while now and they're so popular and people love them. So we thought what a perfect uh, match to do a whole land based on the Toy Story films and Toy Story characters. Now, if you're a Pixar fan, there are a couple cool details that you really got to watch out for as you come to Toy Story Land. What are they? Well, all over, if you are a Toy Story fan and you are a Pixar fan, just make sure you, you slow down, take your time, read all the different details on all the graphics, uh, look at all the uh, uh, little uh, just stickers and all the details. There's books, box, toy boxes all over the land and uh, all around you. Just uh, uh, spend your, take your time, discover all the little elements and you'll see, you'll find some real nice surprises. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Even the benches are used popsicle sticks, like right. with larger size, because we shrunk down to the size of toys. Dave, you've been on this project for four years. Yes. You've seen the drawings, you've seen the renderings, and now you're seeing it in real life. So what does that feel like for you? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. You know, a big thrill for us is we, we des design these amazing environments but to see people and families enjoying these and experience is a huge payoff for us. We love that and uh, so exciting to see the land filled with people, with uh, families, children, uh, just enjoying all the attractions that we've developed. I can't even imagine, like for myself, when I walked in yesterday, I almost had to hold back tears. So <laughs> oh, for you, great. it must have been pretty cool. It's amazing. It is hard to hold back your tears, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put your heart and soul into this. And, uh, you know, working with the Imagineering team, the Pixar team, and a lot of our uh, contractors to, to build these things, uh, it, it's a... Uh, it's a huge uh, effort, but it's as you can see, it's well worth the effort, and it's ex very exciting now to finally unveil this to the guests. So the sun's just coming up for us now, and it's awesome during the daytime, but you have to come back to Toy Story Land at night because it's a whole different experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I know I tell people that, too. Uh, day and night are so different, and... Uh, yeah, you saw the uh, amazing lights on the track, uh, yeah. all the different little uh, Christmas lights all over the land, uh, but it is pretty spectacular at night, yeah. We're, so we're just seeing the Slinky Dog Dash shoot out from behind us. People are already riding it this morning. It's awesome. Uh, Dave, just quickly tell me some of your favorite parts of the land. Well, I, overall, of course, uh, being the overall uh, creative director, I love uh, every element of it. And we spend a lot of time making sure all the staging and every place you turn is dynamic. Um, but you know, it's really fun to walk in the land and become the size of a toy. And uh, you're about the size of a green army man in the land. And uh, to me, it's really, it's just fun to uh, enlarge all these toys up to this giant scale. And uh, doing that, we really pay attention to the details. Uh, in order for the story to be believable, you have to really make sure that all the wood grain is is right to the scale, all the tinker toys are the right you know, scale and size. and. Uh, so I think that's a lot of fun when you walk into the land and it continues, uh, you continue to get more and more immersed in the land. It's pretty dynamic. Dave, thank you so much. Thank you, it, it's so cool to be here.